CAHAP is, it stands for the Capital Area Healthcare Education Partnership. And it was a program that was developed with five major partners, um, Sparrow Hospital, McLaren Greater Lansing, Hayes Green Beach Hospital, Eaton Rapids Medical Center, and Bertram Hills Retirement Community. And they were in partnership with our education system to help students that are interested in professional level careers in healthcare um, explore those um, areas to see what they truly are. KHIP is unique in the sense that students are not in the classroom, they're in a hospital. They uh, are treated as professionals in a hospital environment. They wear scrubs every day, they have a name badge that identifies them. They're not in high school for that, that period of time that they're in class. Our application process to the program is a little bit different. Um, the students fill out an application and then we interview every student that is interested in the program to really sit down and get to know them, get to know what their goals are for themselves, make sure that they understand what KHEP is and what KHEP isn't, and make sure that this is going to be a good fit for them and have value for them to um, spend their, a year of, half a day of their year of high school with us um, looking at health careers. We are off-site, so one of the requirements is that the students do have to be able to provide transportation to the program every day, and sometimes that is in the classroom, and sometimes that's off-site at a hospital that they might be doing a job shadow or a clinical experience at. We also require that they be on track to graduate because our goal for the program is that they are going on to college to, to look at a professional degree. They will be out with the patients and with our partner's customers um, and so they do need to be able to be appropriate and professional and, and have some good communication skills. If they're willing to keep all their options open, if they're willing to be brave and to look at areas and not get real narrow and focused, a lot of them do come to the program thinking that they know of a profession that they want to go into and that's great. What we ask them is to stay open-minded and to also explore things that maybe they're not, they don't think they're interested in or haven't heard of because sometimes they see characteristics in that um, career that match them better than maybe the career that they were originally thinking of. The ability to really focus, act mature and professional, they have to really be interested in healthcare and, I, and our students really are. They are part of a team in healthcare. We're really pushing that team effort so they don't necessarily need to explore that career for the, for the sake of do I want to do that job, but more um, for the sake of this is somebody I'm going to be working alongside of and having a little bit of understanding of your own team members. We do BLS through the American Heart Association. We do the BLS at the healthcare provider level. So they'll be certified in CPR. We also um, certify them in first aid. In the very first six weeks, we do a bunch of certifications to get them ready to go out into the hospital safely and follow. We talk about confidentiality and HIPAA. We also do bloodborne pathogen training so that they can be safe when they're out in the hospital. We also do a training a certification for age-specific care and cultural competency and diversity. The students have an opportunity to go out at, at a minimum on, once a month into the hospital um, for a job shadow. And there's different careers. There's also different careers within different environments. So because we have five partners, a student can look at not only a specific career, but they also, through another job shadow, could look at that same career within, within a different environment. Maybe a small community hospital versus a larger hospital. The nice thing about the job shadows, though, is that it's authentic. It's real. It's not a simulation. It's not something that they can plan for. Um, and so, and that's a big part of what healthcare is. So it gives them that feeling no matter what they see when they're out following with that worker, um, they get that spontaneous and that ability to go with the flow. They understand and they see what it takes to work in healthcare. And that is a characteristic that some of them really struggle with. And so we talk about, we have that conversation. This is something that you really want, want to pay very close attention to because it's going to be required in healthcare no matter what. Um, you want to think about if that's a good fit for you. 
they also go out with mentors and they get an opportunity to go with the same professional. It's an area that they're interested in, but it's with the same professional every month. So they get to know that person a little bit deeper um, relationship. They ask better questions. They feel more part of that unit because they go back or return to that same unit. So they also get those opportunities to feel just a little bit part of the system and not just an onlooker or an observer um, through their mentor um, opportunities too. Students in the KHEP program are really uh, prepared to go on to college. Our program does not prepare them or give them a skill that they can leave the program with and get a job, but it does give them information for college so that when they get to college they are, are pretty sure what they want to do and uh, can pursue that with hopefully less bumps along the road. Students see a range of things. They see the happiest moments, like a child being born. They see sometimes the saddest moments, a uh, patient passing away. Um, they see the in-between. They, they see um, children. How, how do we take care of children differently? Um, a squirmy child in x-ray versus a person in pain in x-ray that, that it's hard for them to move. So they get to see the real world. And, and one of my students just, I asked the students at the end of the year, tell me one of your most memorable moments when you were out on a job shadow. And one of the students told me, it, was the, it wasn't what the situation was, it was what the staff member was doing. And she said, I got to see a nurse provide hope to a patient when there was no hope. And, she, and, and that was what was really neat is because it isn't just so much what you see, it's, it's the whole picture and, and that's what makes it really rich.